Ah, uh, ah, what a bummer. What a bummer. What's up, guys? Thanks for uh, waiting in the chat here in the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed that fun little group ride video. That was really, really, really such a blast to make and a lot of fun to ride. Um, wait for you guys to join the chat. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. I thought it froze up. <laughs> oh, guys. You saw the end of the video, right? What's that? What's that? It's a freaking bandit. <laughs> I'm so stoked. I can't wait to show you guys uh, the review on that bike here soon. I'm gonna have to uh, take off that top battery. I'm gonna show you guys how to install that in a video. We're gonna be doing some kind of like Mod Monday type videos. Uh, the Grizzly, I am actually, right now I'm waiting for two controllers to be sent out to me. I'm pretty sure like one of them burnt out and not both of them. Cause let me show you guys. Hopefully I'm not messing up the stream. Let me see. This one still still smells like electrical like burning. So I think maybe just one of them burnt out, but I noticed this wire was disconnected. I think Marv said it was like the phase wire. Like this little piece broke off. And I reconnected it and nothing. So I definitely overheated the controllers or the controller and burned it out. But I did have fun making it. Hey, what's up, Brian McCann? How are you doing, brother? Yeah, electric electric burning is like a weird, odd, very, very odd smell. But very distinct. You know exactly what it is when you're when you're smelling it. Oh, I'm trying to get this charger in. Sorry guys. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I got these new handlebars for the Super 73. I don't know if I'm gonna install them because it has this little piece on here. So it kind of, kind of takes away like real estate for like, you know, um, the phone mount or like a bell or camera or whatever. I, I think it, it, it's cool looking, but I don't know. I may do a giveaway or I might put it on. Let me know if you guys think I should put them on. And then I still have the 10 speed kit. I, don't, I still don't know if I wanna put that on or not. I've been hearing like mixed reviews about it. I want to get longer crank arms from him. What's up, Eugene? Altima, what's up, Altima? Oh, this is the uh, Spark Mountaineer. That was on a group ride and that is for sale. It's here, so if you guys are interested in buying one of these, hit me up. Um, oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys, my huck is actually down again. Uh, I was doing a little fishing adventure. If you guys don't follow me, on Instagram, make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram because I'm always doing like little different adventures that I'll put on there that I won't record or do, do a video of. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to see all that crazy nonsense that I always get into. And I do have a Patreon now. So if you guys want to support the Patreon, go check it out. I still don't know how to do any of the stuff on there. I'm learning all about it. Um, hopefully soon I'll have merch. I'm getting my logo worked on right now. I should have shirts and stickers and all that with the logo. I'm pretty stoked about that. And um, if you guys uh, were in the chat earlier, you see that Chris Shaver, Shav, he's gonna be here tomorrow. Actually, we're gonna hang out tomorrow and probably ride around on Wednesday with uh, Bomber Marv. I don't know if he's in this chat or not, but we'll, we'll be making some cool videos while he's here. He's gonna be here for about two weeks, something like that. Let me go through the comments. Sorry, guys. Do you think I can ride my S1 in the rain? Yeah, as long as it's not a crazy, like, downpour or anything and you're not going through, like, super deep puddles, you should be fine, dude. Don't put it on if you can use a space. Good idea, Ultima. Maybe I'll do a giveaway for that. Drop a like. Thank you so much, RL. Brandon, you need more e-bikes. I got, I have the Zoos coming in here soon. I got the Ravel Django coming and possibly the Ravolt Cruiser coming in. And oh yeah, if you guys are from Jersey, uh, One Stop Board Shop, who I am, uh, I guess I'm like an affiliate for them or whatever. Uh, if you guys do want any one wheel stuff, uh, accessories, use code SHREDDY, uh, save 5%, but they do have Ravolt in and they have Spark. So if you guys are in the Jersey, Somerville area, go check them out, tell them SHREDDY sent you and I'll get credit for the sale, thanks. <laughs> and also, also, Lewis Cycle Sports, who you saw in that uh, group ride video, we just got the Wicked Thumbs in. So if you guys want to try out the Wicked Thumb, you can try out my Wicked Thumb. I'll meet you at the shop and you can try it out there. 
Uh, we got a few of the 500 watts and maybe one 750 watt left. Um, they're gonna be getting Ray Volts Beach. Uh, Beachin is one of the Ray Volts that they're gonna have. They're gonna be getting some cruisers. Um, I'm hoping they get the uh, the Ringo, not the Django. It used to be called the Django and they just changed it to the Ringo. I guess like there was like a moped company out there that had the same name. I guess they did that cease and desist order, whatever. Let me go through the comments. What's up, what's up? Eboriqua, what's your go-to bike? RX, Grizzly, or Spark? Well, the Grizzly is pretty much like a moped, just like the, uh, the, the Huck. So if I'm going like on a long trip trying to get somewhere quick, I'll either take the, the Huck or the Spark. But my go-to e-bike for like group rides and just going out on the trails, it's got to be the Grizzly, man. I've been having so much fun with the Grizzly, as you guys have seen in the videos, like me going through all that sand. The sand is like... It's so much fun, but you can totally burn out your controllers <laughs> ripping through that sand. But it's a blast. We'll, we'll see if the newer updated Grizzly with a better controller and uh, stronger motors would do better and can take a little more beating. But we'll do that. We'll do that for you guys in e-bike science. So we'll put it to the test. I'll put all this stuff to the test. And uh, did you guys see that I had a, I guess for the people that don't follow me on... Actually, I did do a, a Varla Eagle One scooter. I got the Varla Eagle One scooter. I'll be doing a review on that thing here soon. The review, ride, test, and everything. Guys, that thing is crazy. Like, it has so much. Somebody yelled at me for saying Torquey. What do you guys think? Torquey? I know it's not a, like, a real word, but everybody says it's Torquey, right? Like, everybody says Torquey. Somebody said, it's acceleration. I know, but everybody says Torquey. It's, it's what we say in the e-bike world, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Eric. Hey, Shreddy, I'm Eric from Philly. What's your thoughts on the Banda E moped and what's the top speed of it while pedaling? Dude, you can hit about 40 miles an hour if you're going to be pedaling it with, with it just stock. But if you add the battery blender and throw that 52-volt uh, battery on there with the 48, or you can slap two 52-volt batteries, that thing's going to be hitting 40 miles an hour for sure. Jacob, love you, bro. I <laughs> love you too, bro. <laughs> Brian, Shreddy, are you going to an... Are you going to an episode showing Deanna on each of the e-bikes so ladies can see what to expect buying e-bikes? We're trying to get her an e-bike that fits her. She's such a shorty. Like, she can't fit on any of... Like, look how many e-bikes we got here, and she can't fit on any of them, dude. <laughs> She's even scared to ride the scooter. Like, I'm trying to get her... You know those little scooter chairs you can get? I'm trying to get her a little scooter chair to slap her on there. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Acceleration requires torque, so the term torquey is legit. Thanks, Altima. That's a good source to, to, to get the right answer from. So yes, torquey it is. But yeah, I've always said torquey, like even in the one wheel days before I hopped on the e-bikes, torquey. I'm thinking of getting it with two motors and two batteries. That's the way to do it, dude. Especially like if you live like in a hilly area, um, with any e-bike, dude, it's always good to have two motors and two batteries because the front motor is going to pull you up the hill and the back motor is going to push you up the hill. And then the extra battery is going to give you more range. Love the Wicked. 135 miles the first week. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job, dude. Good job. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be back on the Wicked here soon. I actually just picked it up from the bike shop. I left it in there while they were selling. Uh, I was just letting them use it as a test bike. So they sold two bikes while I was sitting there. But we're, I think I, I really want to do a mode two range test next on it. Everybody wants me to do mode three, but mode, mode three is like, I want to say it's like 15 to probably 20 miles an hour. I can't remember the, the speed on the modes, but I feel like mode two, I'll go pretty far. That'll be a fun adventure. Those like long, 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 long range adventures. They're like, sometimes they're tiring, but they're a lot of fun and you feel great after you're, you're done riding and pedaling miles like when i did the 70 mile adventure on the super 73 when i got back guys like i slept like the whole next day i was so tired and then i had to edit that long video but once you're done it's like a great feeling to show everybody what, what these bikes can do i'm here to test these for you guys so if you guys need any tests done on any of these bikes or that varla eagle one scooter just let me know if you guys have any ideas drop them in the comments send me a message Give me a shout on Instagram. So yeah, for the people that just joined, I'm gonna be doing like Mod Mondays on, on the Bandit. So I'm gonna be updating and upgrading this bike 
as they upgraded. This is a Generation 1 Bandit, so this is kind of like the first generation of the Bandits, of course, Generation 1. Um, so every time they add like a new upgrade or update, no matter whatever it is, they're going to send me it. I'm going to install it on, on Mondays. We're going to do Mod Mondays, and we're going to show you how to update and install it on the Bandit or pretty much like any e-bike, like everything is pretty much the same. So I'm gonna take that top battery off of there and then we'll, we'll, we'll uh, reinstall it and show you how, how to do all that, do a range test with the, this is a 48 volt, 24 and a half amp hour battery. So we're gonna see how far we can get on this bad boy. Um, I don't know what else, we're gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of fun things with this Bandit, I'm thinking, I, I want to keep it a secret, but I might put a new controller in it. Maybe there might be a company reaching out. I'm not going to tell you which company it is, but there's a company I'm, I'm going to be talking to tomorrow about sending me a uh, controllers or controller to try out and test out and see how they, uh, how they work out either on the bandit. And they do have a dual dual motor controller that's supposed to be more energy efficient and have more power or something. And maybe I'll slap that. If they let me keep this sucker, if they let me keep the the broken grizzly and they send me that 1000 watt dual motor grizzly um i'll update i'll upgrade this thing and see what it can handle with with power and you know with the metal gears see how much power it can take yeah we're gonna be doing more custom like e-bike stuff man for sure marv's gonna be uh doing a fun little group ride with us with me and Shav on Wednesday with a new e-bike. We haven't showed the channel just yet. Going through the comments, guys. Get a cat trike pocket e-cat? I'll have to look that up, Brandon. I haven't, excuse me, I haven't heard about that. I don't know what that is. Cat trike pocket e-cat. Okay, I'll remember that. How far are you from Philly being in Delaware? How far are we from Philly? About... I want to say two hours, maybe two hours and 20 minutes, something like that. Not too far, dude. Come down here for a ride sometime, Eric. Uh, I don't know if we're friends on Instagram. Shoot me a message over there. And if we ever get any rides around here soon, I'll, I'll let you know. Or just follow me. I'm always posting the rides on Instagram. Get the bikes outside. Get Deanna out there. Educate the e-bike builders to design for ladies, too. Seriously, I know, man. I know. The, uh, the e-bike world is really, like, mainly, like, dudes, like... Um, I look at all, all of my like, uh, YouTube, the analytics or whatever. It's like literally like 0.3% female that watches my videos. <laughs> it's like all oh, guys. So we need to get the ladies in here. So the super 73 now has a ZX. Do you think it's overpriced or is it justified being an upper scale Z1? Dude, I want to try that out first before I say anything good or bad about it, but from what I heard, check out uh, Chris Shaw's video. He has a review on it. He says it's super torquey. It's really torquey. <laughs> but uh, I actually don't know all the specs on it. What's the size of the battery on it? Is it a 48 or is it a 36 volt? Might be 48, like freaking 11 or 14 amp hour battery. I'm not sure. Which one has the most comfortable seat? Hmm, I want to say the Huck and Huck has a the most comfortable seat first, then, damn, I want to say the, the Wicked is second because that, that freaking saddle is so bouncy. It's, it's super comfortable and, and fun to pedal. Then third, the Bandit. Fourth is going to be my upgraded seat on the, uh, the Super 73. I actually love this seat, guys. This one's from OC Cafe Racer. Don't mind all this mess. This is my garage, the OC Cafe Racer seat. This thing's awesome. He's making a, he's making a seat for me, uh, for the Grizzly. So I'll have a seat kind of like that on the Grizzly. I'm super excited to get that in. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Number one most comfortable seat's gotta be the Huck. Uh, the Grizzly, the Grizzly is comfortable for the first maybe like hour, then after a little bit, your butt starts getting a little bit sore. Your little, your little biscuits start hurting. <laughs> the Grizzly is actually, um, that's a pretty comfortable seat, but that's it's pretty much like the D-Class seat. If you guys have a D-Class at home, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, da, 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 what else? The scooter, dude, that thing is so springy. I know you don't sit down on it, but damn, that freaking, that thing is spring, the super bouncy and springy, the independent suspension. And it has like little coils. It's pretty awesome. Um, damn, I got so much stuff going on in here and so much, 
stuff coming. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> if you guys think I should upgrade to that, let me know. This is the 10-speed kit. I, I still think I need those crank arms, man. I need, I need longer crank arms. Those 125s, let me show you guys. Let me show you that. I've shared this before, but it's just ridiculous. Look at that. Look at this crank arm. Can you guys see this? Let me know if you guys can see this. All right. I want to say this is like a 160 something, 170 maybe. I don't know. Where can I see the size on this crank arm? There we go. I think that says 171. Yeah, 170. This is a, like a 125, dude. Can you see that? See that? There, there's a hole. Look how much more you got the pedal on this bike compared to the Super 73. It's crazy. It, it's nicer to have a bigger pedal. So with their upgrade kit, I wish they would have added something with a little bit longer crank arms. But it is what it is. And a bigger chain ring on the Super 73. The front, uh, front sprocket would be awesome. All right, let me go through the comments, guys. Sorry, I'm kind of lagging. Oh, Shreddy, a custom e-bike build. Is that still coming? You and Marv teased it. Yeah, dude, we got to do one. I, I've been wanting to get a bike for D, and I think that's like the only thing we could do is, is custom uh, t turn our townie into an e-bike. Mod Mondays, yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, you should join us for Mod Mondays. Marv could build an e-bike out of sand, and it would work. That's so true. Dude, he's a wizard, man. Two hours. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm already following you on Instagram. All right, cool. Awesome, Eric. So, yeah, anytime I post any any group rides, I'll actually, I'll, I'm going to start another little group ride chat, but sometimes they get a little, like, crazy. Like, once you start adding so many people, they'll start talking about different things every day, and then you'll get, like, all these notifications. You're like, all right, let me, let me just turn this one off for a little bit. <laughs> I would love to see Marv take his Hyper Scrambler 2. Um, that is turn one that has the Hyper Scrambler 2. Hyper Scrambler 2 to the max with a new QS motor with beefy controller and upgraded batteries. Dude, if they can do that to the Hyper Scrambler 2, that would be amazing. Especially with the big, big treaded tires he has on there. Super treaded. I know I want to see Marv and Shreddy build the Anna custom e-bike to fit her perfectly. Pick the right bicycle frame, mid-motor drive. Yeah, actually, that's what we think we might do. Uh, Brian, if you saw that video earlier with that uh, custom-built townie e-bike that uh, Steve made, Steve Watts, that's what his new nickname is. Um, he's the guy that built his own battery. That's the kind of setup I think she should get, like a nice little mid-drive that it does have like a half-twist throttle or maybe like a thumb throttle or something. She needs to get used to using throttles. <laughs> Teresa. What's up, Teresa? Hey, I'm here, Shreddy. Would be nice to have some bikes designed more for women. Mine is really high. Totally, totally. So we're just done talking about that, definitely. I'm going to look into uh, more ladies' e-bikes on the channel. We're going to throw Deanna on there. We're going to get her to review it. If you guys think that would be cool, let me know. The reason there is less ladies riding e-bikes because there is less lady cyclists than male cyclists. Hmm. I think, yeah, I guess you are true. Yeah. I do see more men cyclists, those spandex dudes. <laughs> Choking on water. How many e-bikes do I currently own? One, two, three, four, five, five e-bikes and then a scooter and two one wheels. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm going to be uh, slapping treaded tires on this thing soon because this, this tire is so worn down. I love my one wheels. Hopefully Chris Shaver will learn how to ride these and we can get some videos on there. <laughs> Let me keep answering questions. Does your Spark Bandit go 40 with one motor? Yes, it does. 100%. Watch that last video that I just posted. You want the most comfort? Get a re recumbent e-bike or a trike. Yeah, dude. You know how bad, dude, I want a trike so bad. Actually, check out the... Uh, the Trixie from Ravel. That thing's crazy. It's one of, it's like a trike, but like it has like a big basket where like you could throw kids and they can sit on the front or throw groceries or your dog. That thing's pretty cool. Look it up, guys.
Do you know what's up with a company called As Spads? Um, I am following them on Instagram. Their bikes do look pretty cool, but I haven't really heard much about their, their bikes or anything. I'd definitely be down to try one out and see what it's all about. Thumb throttle, no whiskey throttling, mishaps, truth. Yeah, that, that's definitely a better option for Dee since she, she has like no, no skills using the throttle or she's never done it, so. I wish companies would list the minimum seat distance to the ground. Totally, man, totally. Me too. Me too, Paltima. I think you ought to change your name to Paltima now. Paltima. Eric Stewart, what would... What would the Bandit do with both batteries on as far as top speed? You're gonna have to wait till my first, like, not my first ride, but it's gonna be like ride, review, tests, and everything. We'll do all the, all the speed tests. I'll, I'll slap the GPS, on, um, my phone on there through the GPS, and we'll see what the top speed we can get on at. And then uh, once we're done a few videos and some modding on it, we'll throw a new controller in there. We're gonna see what that thing could do. We're gonna see what it's all about. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this bandit. I'm, I'm telling you guys, we are. I cannot wait to show you what upgrades are in store for us. Yeah, if you guys uh, missed the video earlier, Paltima got into a crazy crash. Man, speed demoning it. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay there, bro. Bought a 2X 1000 watt Grizzly, bro, using your code. Thank you, thank you so much for the port. You freaking rock. <laughs> You're gonna love that bike though, dude. Seriously, the most fun I've had on an e-bike is riding that thing. Like, even though the handlebars like look like, a, like old man handlebars, you're gonna have fun on that thing. I mean, you can always slap some BMX bars on there, but those handlebars are comfy. I mean, what can I say? Yep, Paltima is okay, he is. More e-bikes. Look at these e-bikes. Trying to figure out what we should uh, ride on tomorrow with Chris. I'm thinking he hops on Super 73 so much, I might slap him on the wicked thumb. Um, you probably you won't see the bandit on any videos until I'm, I do my first review and take that all apart and everything. So you won't see that just yet. So. The only bikes right now that we can ride is, is going to be the 73, the Wicked scooter, and some one wheels. And I'm hoping I get this freaking the Grizzly fix like ASAP because I miss this thing. And and the Huck, I got to get the flat tire fix on that. Oh, crap. I totally like skipped out on my flat tire story and a Huck, didn't I? I totally did. Brain fart. Um, so if you guys missed my story, on Instagram live a few days ago. I went out fishing, we took the huck on a, a hucking fishing adventure. We went out, went fishing, catching fish out in the ocean, we're having a great time. And all of a sudden, we hear this loud beep after we hop this big ass wave out or, or big old swell in the ocean, dude. We we're freaking flying. All of a sudden you hear the, the motor go wah, and it just goes beep, like really loud, dude. The boat overheated. It's a center console, small ass boat, two dudes in it, overheated out in the ocean, six miles out. And we're like, oh crap, what do we do? And he's like, oh no, we're good. I got, I got a towing service, we're good. I'm like, okay, so how long is that gonna take? He's like, I don't know, it might take quite a while. I'm like, so we're just gonna float out into the ocean for like quite a while. <laughs> so we, he ended up turning the boat back on and we puttered home. It was like 95 degrees out, humid as hell at like four to six miles an hour. It took forever to get home. I got to my huck, the huck is nice and charged up. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to have a good time and a nice cool ride, riding home, like 20 mile ride home. Dude, I get a few miles from, I wanna say it was about four miles from home. My freaking back's, I got another foot, oh, I don't wanna cuss. I got another freaking flat, I got another flat. Uh, so I called Deanna, she uh, rolls up with the pump and my, um, what else did she bring, armadillos? No, I had armadillos. But since the flat, I was riding on the flat for maybe 100 feet, like really digging that nail in there and the, the nail was shaking in there. It sliced the, the whole inner tube up. I stuck the armadillos in there. I was just shooting out everywhere. Wouldn't pump up the tire. I had to walk the bike home four miles in super, super hot, humid weather with mosquitoes and bugs everywhere. But in the end, I still had fun because I found some 
uh, wild berries or wild raspberries, whatever you call them. And I tore them up and I had a good time anyways. <laughs> Got home, but so I hit a puck. Uh, Brett's gonna send me a box of inner tubes since I'm like the only one that's ever gotten flats on a huck He's like dude, how do you keep on getting flats like nobody ever gets flat because the treads on on the inner to or on the uh, On the tire are super thick. So but the nail that I had was super long is one of those super sharp like Roofing nails so that thing went right through and just destroyed it. So once I get the inner tubes uh, in I Have I ordered some big old pry bars as uh, tire levers for dirt bikes actually because if you guys do own a huck changing the tire on this thing is really hard you you have to get the right tools because it's it's not it's not easy um so i got the big tire levers we're going to change it I'm, I'm going to do a video on that so you guys can see how to change the tire on a huck if i can't do it mark's gonna be the one to do it because my shoulder is still messed up i think i told my, like tore my rotator cuffs because i can't i can go like this but i i can't do that or i can't do that <laughs> i can do that but not this arm, so I gotta go see a doctor soon, check it out, because riding like this after a while and you're leaning, my shoulder starts hurting. Shreddy's getting old, man. I'm 40 years old, I ain't getting any younger. <laughs> All right, let me go through the comments, guys. Let me take a sip of water. I keep talking, my mouth getting dry. All right. I hope everybody's having a good day and you guys had some rides this weekend for the fourth. Everybody had an awesome fourth. You guys see fireworks? All right, get through the comments. Sorry, I went too far up. <laughs> Are you on any groups on Facebook? And what's your name on there? I am Shreddy McSkate on Facebook, but if you want to follow my just me, my personal account, I'm Edward Christopher McKay Perez. <laughs> Follow me on there. But I do have like one of those uh, Facebook, uh, whatever accounts for Shreddy Mixgate. I watched the 7 p.m. vid after the live vid. Oh, you were busy, Brian. Come on, man. <laughs> it's all right. All right, I can't understand why these companies don't list seat heights. Yeah, I know, I, I rarely see that. And I'm always getting seat height questions. So I'm like, I, I actually have a um, tape measure like right behind me there at all times. So people are like, yo, what's a, what's a seat height? <laughs> I always get that question. Ask Sienna what, the, what color she wants her custom e-bike to be. Well, right now she has like a seafoam green teal uh, turquoise bike and it's the townie. So either that or pink, of course, come on. <laughs> hey, Eric, Alex said join DMV e-bikes. There's a rides in DC, they post a lot. Actually, I'm gonna be doing a sponsored group ride over to DC from Spark. So be, be on the lookout for that. When and where for the group rides. Death Rock. Um, I'm going to be doing a group ride here soon since Shav is here. I might just do one this freaking weekend, dude. It's Monday. Maybe I'll slap one together. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Tonight, I'm going to start a uh, little thread on Instagram uh, group chat. If you guys want to join the group ride this weekend, send me a message on Instagram and I'll slap you in the group chat. So hit me up. Don't forget, I'm going to slap you in the group chat. And we're gonna ride this weekend. Let's do it. Or oh, do we have any plans this weekend? I don't know what's going on. I know it's my dad's birthday on a uh, seven eleven, but that's Sunday. So what's your name? Pico Pico Lala NYC. What do you think about your Varla, dude? That thing's got some torque. It's 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 fast. It's fast and it's fun. I have a lot of fun riding through the grass on it. I have been testing it out and. Um, I've, I've went through the display settings and I turned up the torque all the way. I messed with the regen. I actually like the regen on it. It's not bad. It actually can help uh, save your brake pads because you can kind of like lightly grab them and you'll feel the regen. I turned the regen up all the way up to five and I actually like it like that. But yeah, I'm loving the Varla. I'm having a, I'm having a blast on it. I'm going to be doing the uh, review video tomorrow and then I'll, I'll edit it this week. Ricardo! What's up, Richie? William. Flat suck big time. Walk of shame, dude. Luckily, I still had power on the huck because I was giving it really light throttle. And then I did get to a point where I was like, dude, screw this. I sat all the way on the front of the frame with the handlebars like at my chest or in my stomach <laughs> and my legs hanging off the front of the bike. And I was just going like really slow. Hopefully I didn't damage it, man. It, it sucked walking that, that bike. It's heavy. 
Awesome video, bro. Thanks, Richie. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for joining that group ride. It was, it was a blast. I had one of those roofing nails go through my brand new Marathon Plus star. Oh, dude, them things are so sharp. I can't believe how sharp they are. It's crazy. Excellent riding weekend. Totally, totally. We had a blast. Oh, where'd you ride, William? Ricardo. Richie said it was his best ride ever. That's awesome, dude. That's good to hear. Shreddy, hit your local pawn shop type stores for used bicycles. Take the animal with you. Find the right frame. I, she really actually needs a uh, suspension, front and rear. Because then her biscuits would hurt. Neon pink UV LED lights. And it will glow at night. <laughs> cool. It's fun hanging out after the spark ride. Hell yeah. Thanks, brother. I'm most definitely going to join that group. Okay, so everybody, even uh, everybody in this chat that wants to ride this weekend, just message me on Instagram right now. And we'll start a live or a, a group chat and we'll all start talking about it, figure out what we can do. I had a ball with you guys. Can't wait to see you guys again. Yatu, what's going on, brother? You're going to be riding that Varla soon, bro. Where is it? That was just see the top of it <laughs> and parts of it. <laughs> How you doing, Taino, brother? I'm doing good, bro. I hope you're doing well, man. I hope that ride home was nice and safe. Did uh, the little Richie get a, get a bike? I know he was super stoked on, on the bandit off top topic, but I heard you say that you play guitar. Me too. What do you play? Uh, hold on. Oh, no, oh. I, I actually play music in bands, in like two bands. I play guitar in one band. Is this in? Oh, that's out of tune. You hear that? Yeah, I haven't played this in like a couple days, but yeah. <laughs> I'm in two bands. Uh, one band that I am still actively in is called Clabrosaurus. I play guitar, lead guitar, and I do backup vocals. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out like any, any of my bands, check out Clabrosaurus. It's C-L-O-B-B-E-R-S-A-U-R-U-S, -B -B -E and we are on... Spotify, iTunes, all, all music services. You can even find us on YouTube. Like, just look up Clabrosaurus. You'll find uh, both our albums on there. And if you want to hear me sing, which you always hear me sing on the intros of these videos, for those of you who don't know, that's that's my band, uh, Self Checkout, and I'm the singer for for that band. So, a couple of people hit me up recently. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that was you singing. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I do that because like I, I like using like my own bands, and I don't want. To get demonetized. I know there's free like music out there you can use, but it's cool you could use your own music, dude. Yeah, yeah, Paltama dude. I wish you can come, dude. Next time, dude, let me know whenever you want to come down. We'll set something up. I actually need to replace the brake pads on my RX in case I do end up bringing it. Well, if you, you know, Yatu, if you don't replace them um, and you have them, when you come down, we could do them, dude. It's super simple. Really quick and easy to do for sure. Oh, you're giving him the RX? What? Oh, he's gonna be so stoked, dude. What are you getting? What are you getting, Richie? You getting the, the, the Grizzly? Brian K. Hayes, you need to use your camera and phone as a rear view mirror before. I know, dude. Oh, soon. I'm gonna I have the uh I, I don't even know what I'm telling you guys. I I got the um Rode Wireless 2, so now I have two transmitter, one receiver, so I can ride with somebody else and interview them or, or whatever. Um, and also I'll be able to plug it into my phone when I do live streams, you won't hear like this echo, I'll have a mic on me. It'll sound a little more professional, I guess. Yeah, but Brian, you're totally right. I, <laughs> I have so much anxiety when people ride behind me, I'm like super cautious, dude, like I really am. <laughs> I get, I get PTSD from that crash. If you guys haven't seen the Grinch crash, just scroll down to my old videos. You'll see the Grinch like grabbing my butt flying with a funny face. That's gonna be on, on a MTV's Ridiculousness soon. Hey Shreddy, I ordered a Aerial Rider Grizzly per your recommendation. MC, dude, thank you so much. I hope you used uh, code Shreddy to save you 50 bucks. Awesome bike, dude. By far the most fun. Oh, you got the 52 volt. Let's, let's slap another battery on there for you, Richie. Write a new song titled The Cheesy Music Video. <laughs> that's actually, Brian, that's actually not a bad idea. Um, 
if I could find a music engineer around here, like I could, I can play guitar, bass, I can play drums. I, it's been a while since I played drums, but it'd be kind of cool to like write my whole intro song and me play every instant instrument on there. That'd be sick. It might end up being an early day trip just so we have all the time to do everything. Also, so I can check out that bagel breakfast shop of yours. <laughs> Hell yeah, Yatu, we'll take you to the bagel shop. It's called Surf Bagel, I love that place. Do any of your bikes have motor cutoff for when the brakes are applied? Every single e-bike, excuse me, and scooter in here has that, yep. But if you wanna learn wheelies, you can uh, unplug it and, do it and learn wheelies and and it won't have the cutoff. But I like having the cutoff, it's a good safety measure. Cool to chat up on the ride. Yeah, totally, totally. Gotta see Marv. Marv's a man, Marv is a man. Do you guys have any more questions? Yeah, any more? Yes, I did use your code to order it. Now I can't wait to get it. I almost immediately heard from Arda via email. They are on top of things there. Dude, Arda's awesome, man. Them guys are awesome, they're aerial rider. Are you Native American? I am Taino Indian, I'm Puerto Rican, but I do have um, Native American blood in me for sure. Check out the video of the boat bike trailer. You can shred the water, the boat bike trailer. I'm a, I'll am look that up. Yo, Brian, can you send me a link to that on Instagram? Altima is a recorded engineer? What, are you serious? Paltima, why didn't you ever tell me? You know I'm in bands, bro. Damn, that'd be sick, dude. Record Shreddy, let's go. I'm trying to learn how to wheelie. Dude, wheelies are fun, but damn, they're scary. I, I was actually learning how to wheelie on the Varla. It's so much easier on that. I want to visit that restaurant with the Caribbean food. The Caribbean food. Which one are you talking about? I don't know. If it was maybe one that I went to or... I don't know. We got, we got a lot of good taco spots. Um, dogfish head that we always go to. Nah, dude. Nah, my grizzly, no, it's dead, dude, it's dead. Oh, God, no. <laughs> ah, Grizz, I miss you. <laughs> Man. I was gonna play, like, that uh, funeral music. But nah, we're bringing it back to life. You guys ever see Reanimator? That's gonna be Shreddy, the Reanimator. I'm bringing it back from the dead. Puerto Rican food is the best. Oh, are you talking about, it's called doggy style hot dog. <laughs> that place is awesome. Clarisaurus, I'll definitely check it out. And Shield, check out a self checkout if you haven't checked that out. That's my other band that I sing for. But Clarisaurus, yes, we're gonna be playing again this year. It's been like a whole year and then some that we, since we've practiced, played, I haven't touched my electric guitar. I have a Kirk Hammett ESP LTD 602, I think it is. Um, it's got the Floyd Rose tremolo thing, thing rules, man. And then I have an orange 212 cabinet with a orange head. I forget the name of the head. It's like the twin terror or the dual terror. Thing crushes. Yeah, Ricardo, they're, they're sending me a new controller for the Grizzly and they're actually sending me a new front hub motor, but I, I don't think that's a problem. But hey, I'll have like three freaking 750 watt hub motors here, so. How fast can the spark go? Um, so stock, the, the spark can go 35 miles an hour. So this thing is an electric moped and it's made to be ridden on the streets, but um, it goes 35 miles an hour. You add the battery blender and throw a 52 volt battery on there. It's gonna be going about 40 and a little bit, maybe 42. But we're, we're gonna do like all the, all the tests on the review and ride and everything. And then once we upgrade it to the 52 volt battery, cause I gotta take that one off. Um, We'll do the speed test with that too. A bike tire off the back of the boat, what? <laughs> That's a great guitar, man. I only play here and there. I have an acoustic Taylor Mini. Nice, dude, I love those little mini, uh, mini Taylors. They're really cool. Nice, you got a good collection, MC. Trite Grizzly build. Hmm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I might have missed it, but which two bikes are the ones that you told me that are down? Well, of course that one. <laughs> the 
the huck is down. And then this one, I cannot ride it until I do my first like review video and ride and everything. I just can't have it on video yet. Cause that, that's new to the channel. But this one's not getting ridden. This one's actually for sale. So I can't have people riding this one. But we got scooters and we can all trade. So unless you can get the S2 down here and we can change the pads for you and everything. You need to get some big wheels in for testing. <laughs> what are you talking about? The old school big wheels? <laughs> How much is the battery blender? I think it's like, I can't remember. It's like 140, maybe 150. I don't know. It's around there. So check it out on Spark, sparkcycleworks.com. The Spark is dope. I just don't like that double headlight looks like the short circuit robot dude dude i love that movie i love that movie thanks for saying that though I, now that makes me like it more so <laughs> but uh what's cool about the bandit is you can choose any headlight you want they have so many different options and upgrades for headlights side mirrors pedals anything you want is able to be upgraded there so that's the one good thing about the the bandit and spark them guys are, are down for anything like they say throughout the whole build, the customers are literally hitting them up all the time asking or right before it gets shipped out, hey, can I add this on there? Can I add this? So definitely you can upgrade it in any ways you want. Different shocks, whatever you want, whatever, anything. Want the battery blend, the destroyer, lots of hills in Colorado. Yeah, you definitely need that. Definitely need that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out how to do that on the Wicked phone. Um... I gotta figure out what connectors are in there. He said they're they're not XT60, so I gotta find some kind of connector and I can add that that UPP battery in there so it'll work. You can put any motorcycle headlights on the Spark Bandit. Yep. The 12 volt system going on in there. 12 volt lights. Johnny five, no disassemble. <laughs> that movie was awesome, dude. Both of them. I love them. I was looking at the Bandit too, just don't like the double throttles and seems like the Grizzly outperforms most of it, most when it comes to range and performance. Well, with the, like I said, with, dude, the Grizzly's awesome, but with the Spark Bandit and the, the range, you can add any batteries. This is a 52 volt, uh, I think it's like a 14 amp hour battery, but this is a 48 volt, 24 and a half amp hour battery. If I wanted to, I could put two 48 volts 24 and, a half, uh, 24 and a half amp hour batteries and I, you know what I mean? Or I could do 252 volt, whatever. So you can add anything to this and upgrade it any way, which, which way you want. And then the, um, I think they're gonna kind of steer away from the front hub motors and the double throttles on this. But the speed on it and the torque on it is great, dude. It's definitely, definitely fast. Boricua, same here, brother. Awesome. Wepa. <laughs> I want to watch the short circuit film. I'm actually going to watch that tonight too, bro. We'll watch it together. Being a cyclist, it drives me nuts seeing how little of lag bend there are on most e-bikes. Oh, oh, I lost it. Like the Juice or Grizzly. I'm used to having the leg have a slight bend when the pedal is all the way down. Yeah, so the thing about like bikes like, like this or like mopeds, they're kind of made to be ridden by throttle, but you can always get an extended seat. You can sit back and get a nice pedal or um, there are some custom seat builders out there that build seats a little bit higher. So you can always do it like that too. So an extended seat and make it nice and high. We got some Latinos in here, hell yeah. Holly Davidson Road Glide has twin headlights. Just need to wrap those in a single fairing. That would be pretty badass. Mexican and Do Mexican Mexican Dominican here. Awesome, man. I had a lot of uh, Dominican friends in Puerto Rico. For sure. Can't wait to get my bandit. Hopefully they'll come in soon. Yeah, dude. Hopefully. Let's see. Do you have like any uh, date that it's supposed to be in or how long ago did you order it? Are you doing video on the bandit soon? Yes, I actually, um, hold on, let me look through the comments. So I gotta do the Varla review video first, get that out, and then I'm gonna hop on the bandit. We're, we're gonna do the first ride review. But like I said, I gotta take that top battery off and take that all apart so we can start doing like our Mod Mondays. I'll be doing Mod Mondays on, on all the e-bikes, but 
mainly this because they're going to be sending me a lot of the the upgrades so mod mondays is going to be fun i don't know do you guys think i should do mod mondays live or should i do like the mod mondays like pre-recorded and edited just let me know like send me a comment down here or send me a message on instagram or facebook i want to know got extra lola batteries want to use a blender to add the lola Port to the destroyer. Funny watching Johnny Five leaving them on the road. No cell phones back then. Hell yeah, dude. Hold on. You got extra low, low batteries? Or if so, that's pretty badass, dude. Let me know how that comes out. Polish here. What's up? <laughs> that's awesome. Shreddy Saunders by Mad Mods. Thoughts? Cool ass looking bike. Um, Not enough power for me, but I love, I love the design and look of it. Very, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, for sure. I hear the Onyx CTY may be making a comeback. I definitely want one if they do. Yeah, i actually seen things and I heard things about that. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be coming back. Um, hopefully we'll get that Onyx back on the channel again. Maybe I'll get one of my own here soon. Actually, Mad Mods by Saunders. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I wanna get that freaking Metacycle bad. I ordered the Cafe and a Retro, nice. Are those 500 watt motors? Let me know what, what size motors are, are on there and the battery size. You ever plan on adding fairings to your ride to get more speed? I haven't had any plans, but I can, I can. Send me some links. USA, Native American, European, Irish, Scottish, German. Hell yeah, you're everything, bro. <laughs> Three bikes. Hell yeah, Brian. Brian, come ride me in Delaware sometime, bro. We're the United Nations. Weppa! Was that live is on the move? Oh. Live is on the move, then edit to shorten for the channel. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. Waiting for the ARD class. Can I use that Nomad kit on it? Um, The ARD class does have the the front dropout forks, so yes, you can. Hold on, the Nomad kit, hold on. The Nomad kit's an extra battery, right? I'm thinking of the front hub motor. Um, hmm, we're gonna have to ask Bomber Marv. We'll go live on Wednesday with Bomber Marv and Chris. So, uh, da, 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 who just asked me that? Break killer kicks. Um, Wednesday, we're gonna go live with uh, Chris Shove and uh, Bomber Marv. Ask me that question again when Bomber Marv is here. He'll he'll be able to tell you. Mad mods are the seven fifty watt throttle, but the front tire wide open for dually upgrade. Oh, okay, same because the same motor in the other Saunders bikes, and people love the power. Oh, really? Dude, I need to try Saunders. Well, I did have the Saunders on the channel one time. It was in the winter time. I forget the, the, the bike. It was one that actually Bomber Marv built it up and hooked it up, made it even better. So I don't, I don't know what the stock Saunders feels like. Brian K, I'll ride there if you take my Model S up Pikes Peak. We just took first, first place. Is that what you meant to say? Dude, I, I've never driven a Tesla myself, but I, I've ridden in one and oh my God, he had the upgraded, the dual whatever front and rear motors and the big battery. And dude, I couldn't even talk when he when he hit the, the gas or the electric, like I, I couldn't breathe, it was scary. <laughs> I just looked at my friend, I was like, couldn't even talk. Nice, congratulations, first place, dude, that's awesome. Hey Shreddy, any immediate upgrades slash accessories I should do to the Grizzly once I get it? Get some side mirrors, dude. Side mirrors, side mirrors, side mirrors, side mirrors. 100%. Maybe change the, uh, these grips, you can't install like side, can you see that? Like, the side mirrors in there, you might have to change the grip out so you can have the hole there. Or you can have those side mirrors that have like, it's like, it's like Velcro and you can Velcro them to the sides or whatever. But I'll let my friend ride this a few weeks back and he almost got smashed by a car in a two-lane road. We we're in a two-lane road getting ready to go under underneath this bridge and uh, just check out the water and everything. So there's a car, a Porsche behind us, and we were literally all the way on the side of the road. You can tell we we're going left. He freaking goes around us. My friend's getting ready to turn on my Grizzly and all of a sudden you hear and like he flies by my friend. My friend almost drops the Grizzly in the ground like 
and he freaking guns it and he took off. If he would have had a side mirror, he probably would have avoided almost getting killed. But yeah, definitely get a side mirror for it. <laughs> Loki, I was thinking about renting a car to meet up and Tesla's were the top result for rentals. That's awesome. Been in a 67 Camaro SS RA supercharged that put me in the seat. I know the feeling. Isn't it scary? I mean, it's not scary. It's like, I don't even know. It's, it's exciting. I don't know. <laughs> it's exciting and scary. 1.9 seconds, 0 to 60. Oh, my freaking goodness, dude. I can't wait for my Tesla. One day, I'm going to have a Tesla. It's going to be sick. Maybe the Tesla truck. <laughs> What is your favorite motor brand? Like Bosch, Bafan, Bafan Grin. Dude, even though, Brandon, even though I haven't had a Grin motor, I hear nothing but great stuff about their products. And you can see the price is like, it's out, it's up there, dude. It's, they're pretty expensive, but I, I wanna say that I bet you Grin technology is probably the best out there. But I gotta try one of their motors. I wanna, um, I have this thing called the Soul Beach Cruiser. It's like a, Three-speed beach bike with fat tires. Really cool looking. I was thinking about getting the kit and slapping it in there. It's a 26-inch tires, too. All right, guys. We've been here for almost an hour. Do you guys have any more questions? It's starting to get dark in here. Dude, oh, yeah, my freaking VR room. I haven't played VR in so long. <laughs> no more VR. I need a garage. I need a garage so I can play my video games again, guys. Running out of space. I got more bikes coming this month, and it's just going to keep on closing me in, dude. Mad Mods debut bikes are still waiting for an estimated August boat ride in China. Guys, oh, Wicked Wednesday is this Wednesday. Holy crap. Yeah. You guys are going to hear a lot of news, a lot of news about bike prices are going to be freaking spiking soon. There is... A lot of stuff going on in the backgrounds that you guys aren't even hearing about. And that's the one thing I love about doing the Wicked Wednesdays is that we get this inf information out to you guys. Because um, people are always wondering, where's my bike? Why is everything taking so long? And we are the guys that are feeding you everything that's going on in the background that you'll normally never hear about. So definitely stay tuned for the Wicked Wednesday. There's a lot of stuff going on. We, I, we have a feeling bike prices are going to really, really skyrocket along with everything. Um, I was actually told today, if you're going to be doing any Christmas shopping, probably get it done pretty soon so you can keep these prices that are right now and not in the future because they're going to go up, 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 up like crazy. And if you guys do plan on buying um, e-bikes, get them now. <laughs> I promise. Stuff is going to get even crazier. As you guys can see, like the bike prices have been going up monthly, monthly. Just look at all the prices. They've been going up. It's going to be crazy. I want to buy a GDS e-bike or a Maxfoot e-bike. I'm gonna have to check those out, John. I haven't seen those yet. If you're friends with me on Instagram, send me a link to those or drop them down here in the comments. Shreddy McGamer, yeah. Um, I got an Xbox One, uh, Xbox One Series X upstairs. I hardly play. I'm actually waiting for Battlefield, the new Battlefield, to come out, and I'll start playing it again. I want to get a new monitor because I have it up on a 1080p TV, and like, I'm like, man, this freaking Xbox is not getting all the power it deserves and I want a really good monitor for it. But yeah, um, I got the Xbox and I play a lot of, um, it's called Population One VR uh, on the Oculus Quest. That's like one of my favorite games. I don't know if you heard of that yet too. Based on your videos, I'll have to visit your neck of the woods. Seems like nicer beaches than here in San Diego. De dude, definitely come come here and visit us, man. It's, it's a good time. Shav is actually coming from California. He'll be here tomorrow, dude. He's in Philadelphia right now. So he'll be joining us for a live Wednesday. I would definitely drive to Delaware for a group ride with my D class from NYC. Or when I get my D class, dude, that would be awesome. Do like a whole aerial ride or a group ride. <laughs> have a good night. See you in population one. Awesome, Brian. Brian, I just need my room back. I have nowhere else to play video like VR unless I go outside and get those uh those special lights where the VR can see it or whatever you call those lights. I forget you call those. They're not lights, but they're like these little things that your VR can see in the dark. 
Looking forward to Wicked Wednesday, bro. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that's crazy about the, the prices, man. So if you guys are on the fence right now about getting an e-bike for this this year or for even next year, get it now. Get it right now. And everything's back ordered, so you're you're gonna have to wait regardless, or you're gonna have to wait and pay more in the future. Guitar me. What's up, Joe? What's going on, bro? Xbox One, I like Ark. Dude, the game that I've been seeing is, uh, I forget, the, the game Rust, yo. That game looks crazy. I have a Series S Xbox. I love it. I'm a Battlefield 4 guy mostly. Some Destiny 4 is awesome, dude. I'm, I'm really waiting for that new Battlefield. I, I almost bought that, that new Resident Evil. Was it the Resident Evil game? Yeah, Resident Evil game that just came out, but I'm, still, I'm just waiting for the better monitor. I want to... I want the graphics to be to the extreme. Batman of Spokane, you told me I unsubbed you, bro. That's crazy. I didn't do that. There's like a glitch going on where people are unsubbing, and I'm uh, I'm subbing from a bunch of people actually. Yeah, definitely come to Delaware. <laughs> Is this real life too crowded here? I live 10 minutes from the beach and hardly ever go because of the people. Yeah, when, when it gets crowded here at the beaches, I definitely hardly ever go on rides as much, but once uh, freaking summer's over and it's like fall, dude, riding around here is amazing. It's beautiful. The leaves are changing colors. You can hop on the beach. There's nobody on there. Just a few people fishing. It's awesome. Less crowded near Shreddy. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> yeah, Rust is cool. I like watching people play Rust because there's funny stories on it. People do some crazy things. I live five blocks from the beach. I feel you. Yeah. I'm about five miles. But we, yo, the fireworks last night, we didn't even get to the beach. We saw pictures and videos. Dude, it looked like it, there was a concert. People were like on the beach, like shoulder to shoulder. So glad I didn't go. We ended up driving to like the end of, by the inlet where I go by the uh, big wind turbine on my videos and everything. Watching from there was fun. I haven't played No Man's Sky. Sorry, I had to step away. Altima, Paltima's back. Brian K, why did you retract your chat? Any experience with Cab Motorworks e-bikes? Nope, not yet, not yet. I have not. Send me a link if you are my friend on Instagram. I'd like to check it out. I actually may be friends with them. That sounds familiar. YouTube is unsubbing people. You are right. I wonder why that is going on. Is the If the prices keep on going up, they could actually price people out and e-bikes will be something for the rich. Dude, that's what... Kev, you are totally, totally right about that. It's crazy, but be prepared for a wicked Wednesday this this Wednesday. A lot of stuff. I haven't heard another thing today. Like, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Like the prices of chips for controllers and and stuff are going up, or they're getting scarce. So everything's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. <laughs> By the way, how's the RX with the with the new bar? And the 10-speed. I, I have not installed the 10-speed yet. Marv and I haven't gotten to it. But um, I don't know. I've been jumping it, and it didn't break yet. So it's doing pretty well. Um, haven't had any motor problems. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary yet. Not, not, not yet, dude. It's been doing good. I'm just waiting for that freaking torque upgrade because, damn, I'm so underwhelmed. Bike parts for 2023 are being taken now in order to have parts for next year. 200 million bikes worldwide have been sold during COVID with shipping shut down. All dealers sold most inventory. And on top of that, those shipping containers, they're, they're not even moving. They're having a hard time finding workers to move the shipping containers and get them out. Yeah, Neebs Gaming. I actually do follow him. He's hilarious. They're, they're good. Shreddy, if you do a group ride on Saturday, hit me up. I'll show up. Awesome, dude. Uh, again, message me on Instagram. Let me know you want to be thrown in that thread, in that chat. Tell Shaver sorry about that scratch on his new Tesla. 
It's by the tailpipe, so you can barely see it. I'll, I'll tell them. I'll let them know. <laughs> How often do you uh, change the brakes on the aerial grizzly? Uh, Paul, uh, Paul Silva. I live in a very flat area, so I'm barely changing the brake the brake pads on these. I mean, I did like I want to say two thousand miles on the last RX, and I went to change the pads, and it still had life on it. So it's it really it's gonna vary, dude depending on where you live, right or weight, terrain, all that. Oh, find me on Xbox. My, my Xbox name is El Portosaurus. E-L-P-U-E-R-T-O-S-A-U-R-U-S. -E yes, the bike prices are going to be insane. <laughs> yeah, I've got the bell checked for so many tubers and yeah they don't alert me it's a glitch that's been affecting me for like three years now i cannot believe they haven't fixed that yet it's crazy i even set the bell for my own videos and i don't even get the alarm <laughs> what time wednesday wicked wednesday should be around 7 p.m on wednesday i want to say seven or eight i'll see what time uh, wicked ron wants to do it <laughs> Containers are at a premium. Some containers have gone up 400% in shipping costs. I know the prices. I know exact prices. It's crazy. It's crazy from what it was last year to what it was this year. It's, it's, it's insane. It's mind-boggling. Yeah, too, your name is... Is your name First 5 on there? I don't know what you mean, hashtag First 5. But if you're on Xbox, find me, Oportosaurus. Can I write in the chat? Am I able to write in here? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to type in a chat from my phone. <laughs> Leftist politicians want e-bikes to be expensive for some reason. I don't know why, bro. There's even something with new cars now. They eventually uh, vent, <laughs> have some type of... Damn it, it's disappearing. Type of chip in them, and now... And there's a shortage of those chips... So all these new cars are just sitting on the docks. Isn't that the worst, dude? Why? Why is all this going on? Damn you, COVID. All this from freaking the cold. I know it's worse than the cold, guys. <laughs> Magic, what's up, brother? Do you ever get anxiety about an e-bike just sitting around for a month and not riding it, like leaving battery, et cetera? Oh, so what I, I definitely, like even my, my one wheels, so you can't just have these li lying around for a while. Um, what they say to, you know, increase battery life, longevity or whatever is take it down to 80 or between 60 and 80% of the battery. It's good to have it like that and not have it super drained or fully charged sitting for a while. So that's what I usually do with the e-bikes. I'll take the batteries down like 20%, not to 20%, like down 20%, 20 to 30 Make sure you use the free pro put golf code before it expires. Oh, snap. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna hop in there tonight, dude. I haven't been on the, the Oculus for so long, Brian. I need a freaking room, bro. <laughs> I miss my, my gamer friends in there, dude. I'll, I'll hop in there tonight. I don't want it to, to expire because I want to I want to play that pro put golf. Onyx or Hickory or Huck? <laughs> Onyx or Huck, dude, it all depends on, on your style, uh, even your riding style, because both of them you're going to kind of ride a little different. Um, I like them both, dude, but aesthetically, I love the look of the Huck. I just love the vintage feel and vibe that I get from it. The Onyx gives me like a real like futuristic type like vibe, but I do like it. It's very cool looking. It feels cool. It's really powerful. Um, you can really tune it up. It's, it's a cool bike. Yep, thank you, Joe Biden. <laughs> I don't think he even knows though. No more shipping, no, sh no more shipping container homes. Hello, oh yeah, that's true. They're gonna actually be more expensive than houses now. <laughs> they can't get them. PS5 gang and PC gang. Ah, I got a PS4 Pro still sitting there. I, I don't even play it, dude. I got a Switch. Don't even play it. I can write in a chat, but I see like a little thing here. Super chat, live chat, chat viewing options, top chat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. El Portosaurus is my gamer tag. 
you can post links and stuff too. What made you get into electric rides? Um, actually, it started off with one wheels. Like one summer, we came to the beach, and like I've just I, I was watching a lot of one wheels, one wheel videos, like riding videos. This guy, what the heck was his name? Sly Dog Stro was his name. If you guys check, he hasn't posted in years, I, I think, but Sly Dog Stro, S T R O H. Check him out on YouTube. Watch his old like. Um, he actually went to uh, EUC after one wheel because one wheel didn't invite him to like the one wheel race something. Uh, and when he was their like top selling dude and like, he's literally the reason I got on a one wheel, but it started off with one wheels in that summer. I wanted that for the beach. So I got it for the beach right around, right around. I saw a freaking, um, a super 73 S S one or something sitting in front of a surf shop that my friend owned. I went in there. I'm like, dude, is this your, your, your e-bike? I'm, Never tried one of these. Like, let me try one. Let me try it. He's like, hell yeah, dude. Get on. I was like, really awesome, dude. The first time I hit the throttle, like I had a freaking grin like that from cheek to cheek, ear to ear, dude. And um, ever since that ride, I couldn't stop thinking about e-bikes, like electric bikes. And a few months later, maybe six, maybe six months later or something. I don't remember how much longer, but I uh, pre-ordered the Super 73 RX. And then from there on, it started with that. Started doing, I, I used to do just cheesy music videos on here. It was just music video. And then on one video I talked and I noticed I was getting engagement and um, I liked talking to you guys. And I still love talking to you guys. So then after that video, you'll, if you guys want to go back, you'll see like the progression of how horrible my first YouTube videos are to, you know, they're, they're still not that good, but you know, to what they are now, they're better than what they were. But yeah, it all started with the one wheel super 73. Then from there, it turned into this crazy mess. <laughs> I'm dank 180 47 on Xbox, but Battlefield is PF4 is crossplay. Oh hell yeah. Dank 180 47. El Portosaurus, look me up. E-L-P-U-E-R-T-O-S-A-U-R-U-S. I can't decide. Should I buy a Honda Goldwing or an EUC? Cynthia. I, I've never ridden an EUC, but from the looks of it, I've actually seen two of them recently. That I've never seen one until this year on the bike trails. It was a father and son combo. Dude, them things are so fast. They look like a lot of fun. If you already know how to ride one, um, I mean, how far like, do you work? Like, Do you plan on using this Honda Goldwing or the EUC for riding to work? Or like, what are your plans? EUC is probably more fun since you can take it more places. Gamersaurus, yeah. No, it's El Puerto, E-L-P-U-E-R-T-O. The Puerto Rican dinosaur. There's someone with a one wheel in my neighborhood. Saw him once and I can't find him now. Hopefully you find him and you'll, and you'll, you'll uh, get to try one. Actually, yeah, too, you can try this one out when you're, when, you're, when you're here. Or maybe I'll bring it down if we come see you. I got the pint too that you can ride. I'm not sure what to get, an e-bike or an electric skateboard. <laughs> Hmm, I would, damn man, I would choose an e-bike, dude. E-bike over the, the e-board, I think. Or get both, I would get both. The cycling grin is addictive, dude, totally, totally. And I love getting people on my bikes, like their first time on an e-bike, I just love seeing their faces, dude. L-E-L-P-U-E-R-T-O, -E El Puerto, like Puerto Rico. P-U-E-R-T-O-S-A-U-R-U-S, you're close. After that T, turn that E into an O. Yatu Chavez, he probably broke his face by not wearing gear. I'm getting an EUC. I was just kidding. Oh, you're getting an EUC? Definitely do that. Which one are you getting? I only have two bikes and there's three of us. We'll bring bikes down. I mean, I got a scooter too, so. Just saw your avatar on Xbox. Shredding a skateboard. Yep. That's, I mean, that's why my name is Shreddy, because uh, normally through the skateboarding and playing guitar. Oh, Portosaurus. That's it right there. D, D has it right. Totally. On point. 69 minutes, guys. I wanted to get off. I wanted to get off. <laughs> Do you guys have any more questions before I end this, this chat? I've been having a lot of fun. I, I love doing these live chats with you. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been on a live chat in a while. I've been kind of busy. Um, I'm actually helping Ray Volt and Spark and Wicked Th 
some get into bike shops. So I'm doing more than just videos, guys. Um, and hopefully, if you guys want to come visit me in Delaware, you will come see me in Lewis Cycle Sports. So, you guys have more questions? I ordered an e-bike from Amazon, and I you're having a problem getting it. Maybe you should cancel your order and call your credit card company, or call your credit card company and get the money back. Yeah, three hours later, right? Want a street luge fast as hell downhill. <laughs> Let's do it, dude. Did you mention what time on Wednesday you're going on live? I'm thinking between 7 or 8, but normally we do 7 p.m. I'm thinking we're going to do 7 p.m. on Wednesday for Wicked Wednesdays. So, you guys have any more questions? Man, I love seeing this site behind me. <laughs> you guys are so freaking great. Good luck with the shop. Sounds exciting. Thank you, Cynthia. I really appreciate it. Is this real life? Thank you, Deanna. Send your referral quest on Xbox. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. I'll make sure to accept it, and I'll make sure I'm going to hop on that Oculus Quest now and, and get that putt-putt golfing game going. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on another fun live stream. I had a great time, and I'll see you guys soon. Much love to you guys. Much, much, much love.